Hello everyone. Welcome to the session. And in this session, I am going to discuss about case statement in SQL. In any programming languages like C, C++, Java, Python, if you want to apply if then else logic, then we can directly use it. But in SQL, how we can do it? Using case statement, we can apply if then else logic in SQL. The syntax for case statement is first we need to select the required column, select column 1, comma, column 2. Then we can use the state statement. Always case statement start with the case when condition 1, then result 2, when condition 2, then result 2. Like that depends on our use cases, we can use multiple when then classes. And finally, we should have else statement. If none of the condition matches, the else statement executes. And case statement end with end keyword. So this is syntax. And we can use this case statement in select class, where class, order by class, and group by class. And also, this can be used in the insert statement as well. Now, let us see with some example. Now, we have EMP table and a department table. If you look at this department table, we have rows like department number, D name, location. These are the columns and the values are like this. So, we have department number 10, that name is accounting for 20. The department name is research for 30. The department name is sales for 40. The name is operations. Now, if you look at that EMP table, in EMP table also we have department column. Now, what we want to do, we want to assign that name, department name to department number based on the department number. Here, how we can do that? Using case statement, we can do this one. Let's write query for that. Now, I am selecting required columns, oh, selecting EMP number, E name, department number, then case statement, case, which based on that which column we are assigning a D name, based on the department number. So, I am selecting a department number, here always case statement we should use when class when when the department number is done then we are saying that is accounting when department number is 20 then we are saying that is research when department number is 30 then we are saying there is a sales when department number is 40 then we are saying that is operations and finally we should use else else unknown just we can give any name unknown Always case statement end with end keyword. So end we can give alias end as D name department name from EMP table. Now I'm executing this statement. Here what happens right? It takes a first row whenever we are executing this query. Always it executes and then takes the first row. Here the first row is the EMP number 7839 is the E name and it checks the department number. Here the department number is 10. When the department number is 10, here what we are doing, we are assigning accounting. So it says that D name is department name is accounting. Then it picks second row. It checks what is the department number here. Here the department number is 30. If it is 30 means we are assigning sales. So it assigns sales. Then it, it picks up the next record. Next record is the department number is 10. So 10 is accounting. 
it assigns accounting then it picks up the next record 20 here the department number is 20 the 20 is for 20 we are assigning research so it's showing the research like that for each rows based on the department number it assigns the d name this way we can you know apply if then else logic using case statement in sql P table we have salary column as well if you want to apply conditions based on the salary like if the salary is less than 10,000 then we can see less than 1000 we can say low if the salary is between 1000 to 3000 we can say is medium if the salary is greater than 3000 then we can say high now using let's see using case statement how we can do that now again I'm selecting the required column select I'm selecting all the columns so and also selecting the salary column here I'm going to use case statement case when salary less than thousand then we can say it's a low when salary between thousand and three thousand then we can say it's a medium when salary greater than three thousand then we can say it's a high and always we can give else if nothing is matches then just I'm saying it's not applicable and always case statement end with the end keyword and I can give alias as salary range from EMP table I'm selecting EMP table now I'm executing this statement so what happens right when we execute this statement it pick up that first record and checks what is the salary here the salary is 5000 here 5000 this third condition matches here the salary is greater than 3000 so it assigns high value as a salary range like that it picks up that second value second row and the salaries here the salary is 2850 2850 lies here the second one the second statement it matches so it assigns the medium value to here like that it pick up the record and check what is that salary based on the salary range condition wherever it matches it picks up that rows picks up that value and assign that one in this way we can use case statement <clears throat> now let's see some other example if we i'm copying the same statement we can use case statement along with any aggregated function as well now just i'm removing all other column just only keeping this <clears throat> depart case department number when department number is done accounting 20 research 30 sales 40 operations finally else as an unknown and end as a department number here i'm giving comma count star <clears throat> so what happens that always please remember that whenever we are using aggregator functions like count mean max sum average along with any other column normal columns then we have to use group by so here i'm using group by group by I can use I can take this same case statement here I'm using except till end I can use it okay here this is alias name you no need to give that alias name except alias name you can use it as in the group by class so I'm executing now let's see what happens <coughs> so whenever we are executing this what it does it it assigns that you know the name to the department number and then checks how many rows for the particular department name now for sales the department we have six number of rows for research we have five number of rows for accounting we have three number of rows so like this we can get you know we can use case statement along with aggregator function as well thank you everyone if you find this video is helpful then like share and subscribe thank you